Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the mighty Akim and Aquaf out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic is going to be entitled Current Events, There's a Famine is Coming. Okay, so now we're going to look at this um, article from topbizlink.com. <clears throat> And it says, China is feverishly preparing for the upcoming global famine, but the United States is taking a completely different approach. Investment watch. Okay, so now, let's you know, get into the article, okay? Um, we live in a time where global food stocks are dwindling and global food prices continue to rise even higher. Bizarre weather patterns and widespread natural disasters are disrupting food production across the planet. And the pan pandemic has thrown global supply chains into a state of utter and utter chaos. Slakia. As a result, the world is currently battling the worst famine crisis of the century, and it is expected to worsen in 2022. Of course, this is just the beginning. I have been warning for a long time that global trends indicate that we are heading, heading towards a terrifying global famine, and that, and that, and that is just one of the reasons why I tirelessly encourage my readers to prepare while they still can. Okay, so now, firstly, um, you know, all you can prepare, do all the preparing, all the storing of food or whatever that you want. It it's not gonna mean anything because you could be, um, you could be getting all that food for someone else, and then someone else is gonna rob you. All right. Like, it, it does not matter if you prepare, stock up, or whatever. It, 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 the Most High is going to find some way to screw you over. All right? And if, you, if for us Israelites, we're not supposed to... <clears throat> Slakia. Yeah. We're not supposed to uh, be stocking up on food or doing any of these... What, um, what's it called? Not panic buying, but like... Uh, I guess, yeah, food stocking or whatever. We're not to be, supposed to be doing that. We have to... Uh, trust that the Most High is going to prepare, not prepare, um, provide for us, all right? Uh, let me get a precept. Matthew chapter Is it Luke? Oh, Slakia. Not Matthew. Uh Luke, Slakia. Consider the um Luke chapter 12 verse 24 consider the ravens for they neither sow nor reap which neither have storehouse nor barn and Yahweh feedeth them how much more are ye better than the fowls okay so yeah I mean yeah that's that's basically it uh, if the most high can provide for um, crows and all the animals if the animals are able to you know always have food always uh, be able to eat okay and with they don't have you know, storehouses, refrigerators, uh, uh, underground bunkers and whatnot. They don't have all these things like as we do, okay? But the Most High provides for them. How much more us, the children of the Most High, the house of Yahweh, are we going to be provided for, provided for? That's why we don't need to worry about, you know, all this panic buying. And as a matter of fact, just today I saw a lot of people buying. Like the, the shelves were empty. So, so, and it, it, it's, it's been a reoccurring thing. So just, uh, how much longer until the, um, the shelves are, at, stay empty. All right. And they said it's going to be, there's going to be a, a famine is going to, the Slakia, it's going to get worse in 2020, 2022. All right. 
So this is not all, all these people expecting. Oh, this is going to be my year. This is going to be a great year and all this stuff like that. Oh, things are going to go back to normal. No, it's not. It's going to get worse. Okay. Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, famine. In especially, there's not going to be any food. People are going to be dying from hunger. The sword, modern day sword, is the gun. You know, people are going to be dying. Are going to be killing each other. Death, obviously. You know, another, and all kinds of death. And not even just someone killing someone, but famine and other, other ways. Death, natural distract, natural slakia, natural disasters. Okay, and destruction, the end. Okay, the. Uh, natural disasters and all the de all the death. All right. Basically, all the same thing. Verse six: For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, the wickedness has been, you know, it's been the world has been filled with wickedness for a long time. You know, it's long Esau's long overdue for his uh, destruction. All right. Another precept is Matthew 24, verse 7. For a nation shall rise against a nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So, uh, again, uh, this, is, uh, this is all prophecy. Uh, and for me personally, I've, I don't, I've been seeing a, a little bit of a trend. You know, I feel like people, uh, in Sakia, Edomites more specifically, they're all kind of like, planning for something or uh, preparing for something. I feel like they're, you know, they're get, they are they know what's, what's up and they're getting ready for things. And they, they even had a, and we know that something is to come because zombie, they have a freaking zombie prepared in its kiss, kit in the thing. The government, okay? They're, they're trying, they're telling people to, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, okay, no, no, this is official. Yes, this is official. I thought this was, I thought this was some sort of, like, comic book or whatever. But no, this is some U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Okay, this is some real stuff. Is this a, a comic Uh, well, they're they're just trying to appeal to uh, people in a ridiculous manner. But basically, yeah, at the end of the day, they're they're trying they're telling people, hey, zombies are coming or whatever. You know, prepare for this. Prepare for what if it happens or whatnot. All right, they know that this end is coming and. When the end, when this, when the famines are coming, you know, there, there's not going to be any food left. You know, what, what do you think people are going to um, resort to doing? Okay. Cannibalism. All right. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 28. And the king said unto her, What aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did and did eat him, and I said unto her the next day, Give thy son that we may eat him, and she hath hid her son. Okay, so over over here you got two women, um, two women um in a, a argument because they were they were um, planning on eating their kids, okay? Because there was no food, there was no food. Okay, let's let's agree we're gonna eat m my son now and then. We're going to eat this woman's son, and then you can eat my son tomorrow. And then the other, the second woman, she didn't, she hid her son so that she, uh, her son wouldn't be eating. But they're, but they're, they actually resorted to eating, you know, people or eating their kids. All right. That, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. But, you, you know, just imagine what um, Esau will do. All right. Imagine what Esau will do. All right. It is not no game. It's some serious stuff. All right. Romans chapter 8, verse 35. 
who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sore. Okay, so even even as we're going through all these tri um, tribulations, okay, we still have faith, we still trust, we still love uh, the we still love have love for the Most High. Right? We still love the Most High, Yahweh Shimei and we have, we love uh, Slakia, Yahweh Shai. All right, we trust that the Most High will prepare will provide for us. All right, and a precept to that. Isaiah chapter sixty five verse thirteen, Slakia. Slakia. Isaiah chapter sixty five verse thirteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ash ashamed. Okay, so all, all in, in during the trials and tribulations, when all hell breaks loose, the Most High will provide for His servants. Okay, His servants, as in uh, the one third. Okay, the one third that are uh, keeping the law, statutes, commandments, and having faith, faith, and doing this work that the Most High. A told now and told us to do, but um, entrusted us with doing. All right. You don't want to be that slothful servant who hated his talent and didn't do any work. All right. Um, Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse thirty-two. Verse thirty. Where is it? Oh, well, that, that's not really a, a precept for what I wanted to bring up, but that, that's basically it. Okay, you know, um, just don't don't think, oh, this new year, new year, new me, or um, oh, this is an, this is this is my time to do go and do what I want to do. Or any of that, any of that wicked, worldly stuff. Okay, because even the Edomites, they know something's up, and they're preparing. Okay, which which is not going to help them in any way. Nothing that they do is going to look out for them. Is not going to be able to look out for themselves. Okay, because ultimately, if the Most High wanted to, he can just have anything, literally anything, happen to them. Okay. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all. All honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Remember uh, to not only have faith and up continue to absorb, observe the times that we're in. Okay, it's not a sweet time right now. All right, and with that, I want to say Shalom.